Hello everyone and welcome to our last uh, data visualization lab. So this week we are going to create a virtual reality scene on AWS Samari. So VR has been has become very popular in recent years. And since we already have those 3D models that created uh, from the LiDAR data and also from the photos, so we can use those 3D models to create a VR scene. And we are going to use AWS uh, to create this interactive and virtual reality scene. So first, uh, let's use download the 3D models. So of course, you can also use your own models if you have uh, from the previous lab. Otherwise, we can just use the 3D models that I posted on my GitHub. All right, so here I'm going to use the demo data. And here, those are the uh, 3D models that are created from the photos. So I'm going to use the rock uh, FBX file. OK, so I'm also download that one. OK, and uh, if you want to use a pen model, so the pen model is um, is bigger than 50 megabyte. So right now, AWS Samarin does not support more than 50 50 megabyte. So you need to download the RCM file first and open the auto recap photo. And you need to export a smaller FBX model so that if you really want to use a pen model. OK, so just to simplify that, I just use this uh, rock model because that one is um, very small. So that just meet the requirement of the AWS summary. Again, so this is a 3D model that um, created from the LiDAR data. And this is the rock model that is created from the photos. Again, make sure that all the uh, data that you, we are going to upload is less than 50 megabytes. OK, so now let's go to AWS Educate. So we are going to use AWS Educate um, for this class. And we can log in with AWS Educate. OK, so let's sign in. And next, uh, let's go to this classroom. So we go to classrooms. And we are going to choose the date visualization classroom. So that is this one. And from there, we will start the AWS console. OK. Uh, so we have 50 credits, which will definitely be enough for this lab. So let's search Samarin. So if it is not there, so you can just type Samarin. OK, so that will bring us to the Samarin service. OK, uh, so let's just skip this tutorial. So let's create a new scene, but let's start from this uh, default lightning and template. Okay, and let's call it lab 13 and create. Okay, and when that has been created, uh, let's also set up our Amazon Poly. So that is the one that we want to enable and virtual host to speak. Okay, so Poly is a natural language or an AI service on AWS. So let's launch the stack. First, make sure that you log into your AWS console. OK, and let's give it a name. So lab 13 poly stack. OK, and let's check this box and create that stack. OK, so that may take uh, a few seconds being created. And once uh, that is ready, we can go to the output. OK, and we will see that poly ID. Uh, been created. OK, so now you can see the uh, the poll ID is ready. So let's copy that. And now let's go back to our summary. So we, I want you to do this first so that just in case we will not forget that part. And also skip the tutorial. And let's go to the AWS configure and right click and paste the poly ID. OK, 
Uh, one nice feature of the Sumerian is that it is always automatically being saved, so um, we don't need to hit the save button all the time. All right, and on the left side, those are the entities that in the current scene. So right now you can see if we zoom out, you can see there's nothing here. On the bottom, those are the assets that are available being imported. In the middle, those are the place where so the scene that look like. So we have the, right now we have the two light resources and we have the default camera. On the right side, those are the place uh, where uh, we can modify those attributes, etc. OK, so first, let's import our 3D models. So let's select Import Assets. And let's say we want Brawl from our download folder. So first, let's uh, upload the rooms. So we can just upload zip file. OK. And now the, the room is now being processed. And let's also go ahead to import another one, which is our rock. OK, and so now you can see rock is now being processed. And let's also, um, you see the model is ready. OK, and let's also go ahead to insert a virtual host. So you can see there are several templates. Um, you can choose the one that uh, you like. So um, I'm going to just choose a random one. See, OK. Look, OK. And hit add. OK. And so right now, you can see at the left bottom, so we can see we have the look, which is our host. Uh, we have the rock, which is now still being imported. And we have the room. OK, so the room is ready. OK, and let's drag the room to our scene. OK, and now you can see that room is here. And so there are different layers. So that's just a hierarchy of those rooms. So let's go to the the last layer and hit F K, which means focus. Okay, so here you can see this is our room. Okay, uh, however, you may notice that the room is not in the right um, position on the scene. So let's rotate the room first. So let's go to transform and here let's type negative ninety. Okay. So now the room looks like right. OK, and also make sure that we select the room. So next, let's put negative one. OK, so by doing that, we will be able to see the inside of this room. OK, because we want to create a VR scene so that um, we want to see the inside of the house. OK, so that's why we gave it to negative one. All right, and now it looks like the rock is also ready. OK, so let's drag the rock to the scene. And again, so let's select the rock in the entities and let's hit F. OK, and now you can see the rock is actually very, very, very big. OK, that is because when we create a rock, that is, I think, when we um, created the room, actually, we we put the room to be a very, very small. All right, uh, so for the rock, we can see here we have a lot of cameras. So those are the positions when I took those images. Uh, so let's actually um, just close those cameras. OK, so just uncheck those eyes so that we can turn off those camera icons. OK, and next, you may notice actually, you see there are two parts. OK, so for this rock mesh, actually, we have two parts. OK, uh, you can see the left one and also uh, the right one. But that's fine. So let's just uh, check this one. So that is the entire rock. OK, and if you don't like the the, uh, the light, so for example, that is the light, so you can just uh, move the light 
away and also you can check the light light uh, type so for example if I put the spot okay so you can change the, the light and let's also move this one a little bit all right uh, so now you can see that the rock is very big but the room is very small so let's select the room and uh, so let's just wait and to bring the host first because the host is a true size normally is a human being so let's base on the host the size of the host to see we can either um, put the rock smaller or we can put the room bigger so let's bring the host to the scene as well okay now let's select the host and also press F okay and looks like all right so the host is here okay it looks like the uh, the rock is very big okay and the house is very small so now let's change the size of the room so let's make that to be let's see um, uniform scale save 10 okay okay 10 seems to look right and let's put the rock to be smaller so let's say 0.1 okay all right and we may want to put the room a little bit bigger so let's see 20 okay and 20 and 20 okay this seems right okay so i think at the rule of thumb as rule of the thumb that i would always use uh, trust the size of the host okay so now let's position the host um and also the rock uh, make sure we select the entire rock so that we can put that one a little bit up and also uh, for the host let's see we want you to stand here uh let's see if we can rotate not not this way um yes so that turn the face around that probably too much let's say 180 Okay, um, probably I should put the rock uh, even smaller, so point 0.5 Okay that looks right um, we can also bring the light let's say uh, inside of the house so okay and we can also try to for the light Okay, and we can also try to see if the directional is better. Intensity. Okay, um, I, I think I still like the point. All right, 
Okay, uh, so that's, let's say we put the host and also um, the rock in the house. Uh, looks like the, the host is still in the air, that's fine. Okay, it's floating, okay. Um, okay, uh, next, let's say we want to enable some physics. Okay, so we want to see if some other rock, rock has um, uh, can drop down to the uh, to to um, because of the gravity, so that we, let's enable some features of the physics. So let's select rock and let's add component, so that we check that is a rigid body. Okay, and now if we run it, run this scene, we can see the rock will drop. Okay, and uh, you can see the, the rock is not here because the, the rock just dropped. Okay, and so here let's also um, add a, a flaw um, to, the, to the house. So let's say create. Okay, let's create a plane and Okay, uh, so here we just add a plane. And uh, let's also add a component so that uh, we call this one uh, collider. So that means that uh, this one will interact it with the other uh, collider that the other object. So let's give it infinite plan. Okay. And right now you can see we need to rotate this plan a little bit. So let's say negative 90. Okay. And let's make this one very big. Okay. For the Z, let's just keep it as one. Okay. So let's make this plan very big. All right. So now we can see this plan. Okay, so that is just beneath the house. So let's put that one a little bit above the house. We know that the house is not flat, so uh, so uh, because of the model is not that accurate, but that's fine. And let's also check um, our rock, and also let's also add the collider to the rock as well, so that the rock will interact with the floor. Okay, so now if we run this uh, VR scene, we can see the rock will drop to the floor. Okay, so it, great. Okay, and now you can see that the host, because the host, we didn't enable the gravity and also not, uh, so it's not a rigid body and also not collider, so that it will not uh, re um, react to the gravity and also will not drop to the floor. Okay. Uh, now we can also hide the floor so that we just keep the house within the scene. So uh, if we click the code, which is the floor, and go to the geometry, and let's say we remove the geometry so that we will not see the we will not see the floor, but the floor still exists. All right. Uh, I said that will be automatically saved, but let's also save it as well. Okay, uh, so now let's start the the funny part. So that is, let's add, let's like uh, allow the host to speak. So let's click the host, and first let's add a point of interest so that the host will look uh, something. Uh, so you can drag the default camera. So if you drag default camera to the host, so the host will always uh, uh, look at you. So let's drag that one okay and also uh, gesture hold the time so that do you want we want the host to, to start to speak okay uh, after one second okay and now let's define a speech okay so here you can choose different uh, voice so some voice have different accent accent um, and also voice engine 
Okay, so I'm curious. So I'm I'm going to choose a neutral, um, and the volume. So here you can define a speech. So you can drag a speech file, or you can just manually type a speech. So here, uh, let's just type a very simple speech. The speech can be even more complicated. For example, if you enable the AI services that you can really talk with the host by because they can recognize a voice. But here, let's just put something very simple. So let's see. Hello there. Welcome to my VR room. OK, let's save it. So that's the very, very simple speech. So we didn't enable the interactive speech. That means that the host can understand your voice. So that will be more uh, complicated. So here, we just like let host to speak to you and also just one sentence. Next, we also want the, the, the host to do some movements to have some gestures. So let's add a gesture map. Um, we can just use a default one. OK, so you can see the default one is that when there are some words like add above, so it will, the gesture will be big. OK, and when the they see the word you Etc. The gesture will give a U. Okay, so let's use the default one, and now let's auto generate the gesture. Okay, so now if we reopen the the speech, we can see the gesture has been added, uh, depending on the word that we have. Okay, so you can see the gesture will give the wave for the hello. Okay, and also wave to the welcome. OK. Uh, so now we defined the speech. We also need um, the uh, to start the speech to enable those actions. So in summary, that is called the state machine. So we go to the state machine. OK. And here, let's see, we add a behavior. OK, so that is the stage. And for this stage, let's add an action. So that is start speech. OK, you can see this one, start speech. OK, and for this start speech, let's select the speech that we just created. OK, so this is a speech that we just created. So it will start this speech. And the next, we don't want to the uh, the host to start a speech immediately. OK, so we want to wait a few seconds. So let's add another stage. And we want to set this as the initial stage. So it will start from a stage two. And the action is actually just simply wait. OK, so let's we wait five seconds. And we connect those two stages, two states, so that the host will wait five seconds. And next, it will start the speech. OK, and the speech will be the speech that we just defined here. OK, the so voice, the speech that we defined here. And also, it will wave the hands because we just enable the, the movements, the, 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 the gesture. And also, we define that, OK, so the host will, stare, will look at the default camera, so that is that is the people who are viewing the host. OK, so now let's rerun uh, this scene. The host will look at us for five seconds and will start a speech with movements. You can see he's always look at you. OK, uh, so for some reason, the host uh, didn't speak. Uh, so it looks like we have to go back to the standard. Um, probably something wrong with the neutral, so I'm not sure. So let's go back to the standard. And uh, let's use our speech. Uh, now let's try to play it. Hello there. Welcome to my VR room. OK, great. So now you can see the host is now speaking and also with the hands. 
And also you can see no matter where you are, so he's still always looking at you. OK, so that is adding the host. So now uh, actually we are now um, almost done with our VR scenes. So uh, if you really just want to view these VR scenes by using browser, so I think that's a VR scene. However, so we can also view this one um, by use different uh, VR, VR devices. So for example, if we go to assert and let's search VR. OK, so let's say we want to add VR controllers. So let's add that one. And now in the asset, uh, so let's find out the uh, VR uh, camera. So that should be um, the VR camera ring. So VR camera ring. Let's just search it. So that is VR. OK, VR camera rig. OK, so let's drag that one to the scene. OK, and now you can see the VR camera rig has been added. Uh, let's first uh, change the attribute. So make sure that we want to start the, v the VR at the current camera, and also we want the current VR camera rig. OK, so make sure those boxes are checked. Otherwise, you will not enable the VR scene. Uh, next, so here let's enable the tracker. So this is a camera. Let's drag the cam. Oh, it's already there. Uh, so let's see. We want to adjust the height of the camera. OK. Uh, and then now let's see. we want the host. OK, to look at the camera, so not to look at the. Uh, so that means that when we are viewing the uh, the thing in the by using VR devices, so the host will still look at you in the VR. OK, so not um, uh, not in the browser. OK, and then next. Uh, let's add some actions. So for example, we want to see, uh, grab this 3D rock and also we want to throw it away. You know, like just as we play, we are playing the VR games so we can throw some object around. We also want to teleport so that we want to move into different places. Uh, so here you can see for different type of the VR controllers, so you can choose the one that, uh, that you like. So let's say we want to use this Autolers Go, which is a, is a very simple one. So let's click that one. OK. And also, you can here, you can drop the script uh, for the grab functions and also for the teleport functions. So let's go to Asset. Let's search Grab. OK. And uh let's find out the the grab script so let's go to script okay sorry it should be grab not grab so grab and we add this script here and now you have to choose which button do you want to use so uh, on the auto list go we have the uh, some stick track pack so let, i'm going to use that one to enable the grab function and I also want to enable the grab of the 3D. OK, so for this grab of the 3D, again, uh, I can use a sub pad to enable that one. And uh, for the target, I want to grab uh, the rock. Oh, sorry, for the entity. So let's put the, the rock to the target entity. OK, so now if you just press the sub pad and you will be able to grab this rock. Next, let's uh, add the teleport. OK, so let's add teleport to this script. And also the target will be the teleport target. Let's also add the 3D of the teleport. OK, and 
let's go to entities and let's add the teleport target. Okay. And finally, let's uh, add the VR ground. Okay, so that is this one, VR ground to the scene. Okay, so that is about at the right height. So VR ground is also, uh, you can see, collider. Okay, so that will allow you to teleport and also interact with other objects in this VR scene. Okay, so I think that's it for this scene. So let's uh, save it. Okay, and we can play it here and see it how it look like. See if everything is working. Hello there. Welcome to my VR room. Okay, so now you can see the host is not looking at Earth. That is because the host will look at you when you are in the VR scene with VR devices. So you see this tiny icon. So that means when you look this one in VR, and you can click this one to enter to VR. All right, uh, so that's uh, for our VR scene. And let's also publish this one. So let's create a publish public URL. So I'm going to publish that. Okay, and once you have that URL and you can share the URL with others, and you can also view that URL uh, in Autolers Auto Go. So let's copy this URL. So here, let's say we open a private mode. OK, so now you can see the VR scene is now being loaded. OK, and we can play the VR scene by using our browser. OK, so I think by default it has been muted. Um, and also, if you are you have the VR devices, you or you you can wear your VR device to view this URL in a in a browser of the VR device and you will be able to also play this one in the VR. OK. OK, and after I just played with the, the scene and I just realized there is a tiny problem so that is that for the uh, teleport I should not use the same uh, button as the grab so I'm going to use trigger okay uh, for both for the teleport and also I will use the sub pad for the grab okay and uh, now I can republish this VR scene okay um, I believe the URL should be the same. And next, you can uh, try the VR scene, um, try this scene on the different on the VR devices. Again, right now we just support the Oculus Go. Okay, so if you want to use the other devices, uh, you need to uh, con uh, figure out the the controllers for other VR devices.